Hey folks, me again. Time for another review. Today's review is on a third party uh, Super Nintendo controller that looks a lot like a controller for one of its competitors. This is the retro bit variation of the Super Nintendo controller. I want you to take a guess. Does this look like a controller, uh, something that you would probably recognize, right? Well, I think I know the answer to that question. See any similarities here? <laughs> okay, let me zoom out. See any similarities here? Yeah, the RetroBit controller is a design similar to a Model 2 Sega Saturn controller. The Model 1 is a bit bigger and a completely different shape altogether. If you want to see a picture of what the Model 1 controller of the Saturn it looks like, feel free to check out on Google or I'll have a photo in the description of the video. I don't have a Model 1 controller. The Model 3 is also a different design altogether. But without further ado, let's just get on to the main comparison. Or the actual review of the controller. Anyway, right here you have your directional pad compared to an actual Super Nintendo controller. It's almost similar to it. It's actually very nice. Select and start are shaped a lot like the front loader's, uh, well, the rectangular NES controller with the rectangle shaped buttons. They feel very nice in the hands. I thought they were going to be hard plastic, but no, they're nice rubber. If I have anything positive to say about this controller, it's the select and start buttons. This is how you make a select and start button for any controller. Next, you got the face buttons. Just like the Super Famicom, You've got your color buttons, your red, yellow, green, and blue. But uh, the funny thing is, A and B are convex, just like the international controllers. But Y and X are just like the North American ones. You know, the lavender and the purple. X and Y are lavender, and A and B are purple. So, anyway, why don't you use this controller? It may be an issue at first. I mean, you got to give the buttons a little bit of force to get it to register, but once you use, get used to it, it's not a big deal. It may be at first, but other than that, it's what you expect when you first use the controller. Now, the shoulder buttons, another great thing. In fact, this feels like how a modern gaming controller should feel like. If anything, I've actually used this controller for time to time, and it works very well. So if anyone wants to see what the back looks like, Super Retro Controller made in China. <laughs> Funny thing is this says made in China twice. Right here in embossed plastic and on the sticker itself. Oh, and by the way, I got this at Goodwill for $3. Good steal. <laughs> Aside from that, this is actually a very nice, comfortable controller. If I were to rate this controller on a scale of 1 to 10, i give it a 10 out of 10. Is this a good very, uh, replacement for... Uh, the actual Super Nintendo controller. If you're more used to a modern controller like the PlayStation or Xbox or stuff like that, that works. Then this is what I'd recommend, of course. But if you're used to a old school gaming pad, then, well, I don't know. Take your pick. You can also get this in the variations of colors. There's a red color, which I wanted to get my hands on. But if I find one for a good deal on Amazon or eBay, or if I find one at a thrift shop just like this controller, I may consider it. Now the wireless variation, I do not recommend. If you're looking for a wireless Super Nintendo controller, 8-bit dough is the one I'd recommend. Avoid the retro bit variation or you're going to reach problems. And if you may be wondering how we, you reach problems, look up... Uh, Game Tech US's video where he tries to put an NES controller plug on the end, so that's all I'm going to tell you. So, if you guys want me to show up demonstrating this controller in action, please let me know. Aside from that, this is Rico Rocks 2001 saying, Thanks for watching my review. Oh, and just out of curiosity, if anyone wanted to see this compared to a normal standard Super Nintendo controller, Here's a compared to a Super Famicom Junior controller. As you can tell, this one is more shaped like a Sega Saturn, while this one is the shape we're mostly familiar with when it comes to 
Super Nintendo. That's my video. Oh, and the size difference. This one is a bit bigger because it has the extra handles. This is just like, this is the Wii Classic Controller and that's the Wii Classic Controller Pro. Another good example. But that's my video. Thanks for watching.